Welcome back, guys. Well, I'm here in southern Ontario in the Carolinian Forest down by Point Pelee National Park. What am I doing here? Stay tuned. So what am I doing here? Well, I'm here to witness the monarch migration. As you guys know, this year at the property, there was a bumper population of monarchs. And where do they go for the winter? Well, they go down to central Mexico. And this is the southernmost point of mainland in Canada. And this is the main part where they take off. We're headed down to the point now to go check out the monarchs. forest here is something that's so different than what I'm used to, although here's a familiar face. Here is a black oak tree. Huge one, probably over 200 years old. This forest is amazing. Very, very tropical. Even down here we have trees called pawpaw trees that have uh, beautiful mango-like fruit that you can eat. Here's a hackberry tree. I'm always on the lookout for wild edibles. Uh, this has a berry on this tree that forms and uh, usually would collect it sort of over the winter months. This tree is a little bit tall and as I was looking at it, if you take a real close look up, look at it, there's a neat little caterpillar just blending in to the environment right there. So monarchs are a pretty large butterfly. They have a wingspan of about 100 millimeters sometimes. They're orange and black and at the cabin uh, I found them on milkweed. They love milkweed and they feed exclusively on it as a caterpillar. And uh, the monarch butterflies lay their eggs on the milkweed so that the, uh, when the caterpillars form, they've got a great food source. They're making a good comeback. You know, we're allowing milkweed to grow up uh, in a lot of our areas and a lot of our farmlands so they have a bit more habitat. And there's been a lot of um, flowers out this year so the adults have had a lot of nectar to feed on. So bumper crop of butterflies this year you know driving down here it's amazing to see how many are just flying around everywhere so the monarchs overwinter in Mexico in a very mountainous area they stay about two to four thousand meters in elevation in these beautiful sacred fir forests and um, it's a dry period when they arrive down there in Mexico um, so it's just I'm sure it's just an amazing adventure for them if they make it there Usually, the ones that uh, migrate down to Mexico are the ones um, that were sort of raised in Canada over the summer months. If you guys want to track their migration, there's a really cool website. I'll put the link down below and you can actually track them on a map as they're heading south. I think right now we're kind of peaking in this area of southwestern Ontario as well as sort of mid-US right now is where they are. I think as far south as Alabama has been some sightings right now. So we're right now sort of mid-September. Uh, you'll be watching this in October, but they'll be a little bit further down south by the time you guys see this video. Since it's fall time right now, take a look at the mushrooms. They're doing really well. These are some uh, jelly mushrooms. This is like a gelatinous mushroom. Really interesting texture there. Oof. There's even some of these jelly mushrooms that eventually get sort of teeth on them and uh, look like a cat's tongue. Not these ones, but I uh, love this time of year. Lots of mushrooms. I'm excited. Here there's some turkey tail mushroom. You guys know by now how to identify them. They've got the sort of the pattern of the of a turkey's tail and underneath they have white pores. This is a really important wild medicinal mushroom here in the park. Don't forget to look down at the ground. There's a turkey egg on our way to the point. Lots of wild turkey in here. And if you look over here, I mean we are really close to the beach, there's a shell. Um, there are some forest snails as well. Lots of interesting things to see here in this forest. Certainly lots of these huge vines kind of going up on the trees. Very different than what I'm used to looking at on a daily basis. We're getting close now. Saw a few monarchs sort of flitting up ahead in the trees. Sometimes you'll see other butterflies like that big yellow tiger swallowtail that we just saw. It's a bumper year for flowers this year, so the monarchs, uh, the actual adults, have a lot of food this year. Take a look at these flowers just by the path on the way down to the point. And of course, you guys know what this is. This is milkweed, and that is what I was speaking of earlier, that that's what the um, monarch adults, they lay their eggs, usually 
somewhere between one and three eggs at the base of one of these leaves. And then the caterpillars chomp away on that until they form the uh, chrysalis. And sometimes they'll walk off the monarch plant when they form their chrysalis, which is a pupae. But eventually that's when they hatch out of that, they turn into adults. So we're just about at the point right now. It's really windy out there. Uh, it's the southernmost point of Canada that is mainland. South of us is Pelee Island, which is also Canada. And uh, But we're going down to the tip. It's pretty rough. The winds are pretty high today. I don't know how many of the uh, little monarchs that we're going to see today. They're probably clinging to dear life to the trees. You might be tempted to swim out at the point, but the currents are very dangerous. There's a lot of undertoes that can pick you up and sweep you out far into Lake Erie. So really dangerous. If you're down visiting, don't go swimming at the point. Very dangerous. Uh, don't even let your pets in the water. I know a lot of people want to let their dogs run around on the beach, but it'd be really sad if they got swept away in the undertow. too windy up at the point for the monarch so I'm just piddling around here uh, sort of tucked away in the woods here on the beach just trying to see if I can find any of them hanging on to the trees <laughs> they certainly probably got blown right offshore today no not optimistic this is too bad there's just tons of them around but the wind is so strong today so this is the east side of the point it is a lot quieter so I'm really hoping that I can see some of the monarchs on this side Whoa, one just flew right past me. Just flitting around there over the water. Ah, we're getting warmer. Gotta keep your eyes peeled, because I do like to hang out in these sheltered areas. There's a lot of um, dragonflies in here right now. Lots of dragonflies and cabbage butterflies. Take a look over here. Some red osier dogwood right there. Saw some up at the point as well, on the tip. There they are, dancing in the skies, just right there. Gorgeous. Warming up in the sun for their big flight. Lots of little white cabbage butterflies hiding in and amongst the leaves. You can see two in this shot. I'd love to keep walking on the beach down this way, but the water levels are really high this year everywhere on the Great Lakes. And uh, as you can see, there's lots of driftwood in my way. Kind of sitting in this little spot here waiting for them to appear. Sometimes they'll fly overhead. Oh, just like these guys. There they are. Dancing against the sky. Blind you with the sunlight there. There's a little beauty right there. You have waited long enough in this little spot, this little tucked away cove that a monarch would appear. Wonder if one of these guys visited the cabin this year. <laughs> there it goes. Another migration that happens this time of year is the hawk migration. Literally just above my head a few minutes ago was a kestrel that flew overhead. Quite often we'll get a lot of merlins, a lot of red-tailed hawks, lots of things coming this way to go south. Here's a viceroy. It is a look-alike to the monarch. It's quite a lot smaller and it's just hanging out here on this red osier dogwood. Thanks so much for tuning in today guys. I know we didn't see a ton of butterflies but we saw a few and it's always good to get down here and get out and explore. 
today I also have a surprise giveaway for you. Let me show you what I have. So here is a Peterson uh, Field Guide coloring book. So if you have kids or anyone who's interested in learning a bit more about butterflies, this is a great gift for them. There's stickers in there as well and lots of uh, things for them to color in. Also in today's giveaway, you'll get a uh, sticker from Point Peely as well as a postcard. So to win today's contest, you need to be a subscriber. Hit thumbs up and let me know what this tree is here in the Carolinian forest. Definitely put that down below in the comments and uh, I will hold a draw and I will select the winner soon and let you know who's the winner. Hope you guys have a great week as always. Take care.